Good afternoon and welcome to Nora's Dog Training Company. We're here this afternoon with Abby and Brandy. And what we're going to be demonstrating for you today on video is Abby's ability to understand and respond to her formal on-leash obedience commands. The correction and the motivation that we give the puppies when we're working with them and the training equipment that we're using. Abby is demonstrating right now the heel command. Healing is proper leash walking and the command is Abby heel. At this point, Abby's job is to maintain pace with you when she's walking on a leash, not dragging you down the street or dragging you around the yard, but walking nicely next to your left leg. And each time that you stop your feet, she's been taught to sit without being told to wait for her next command. If she doesn't sit, Brandy tells her no sit. As a reminder, gives her a little tug on the martingale collar, and they take off healing again. And I think with this girl, practice, practice, practice is going to be what's going to really, really, really make her the kind of dog that you want her to be, and more involvement with the family. We've had her in the office. We've had her in the puppy playroom off the leash and I think that you can safely bring her in your house, leave your training equipment on her and let her start to be a family member. When she's been in the house here she's had no accidents and we have worked very very hard to get her where she is right now and she's not perfect yet but she has the potential to be a wonderful companion. Now, if she doesn't sit, you see Brandy make her do it. You can't give up. Now, the next command that Brandy's going to demonstrate is the sit stay. So they're going to heel back around. Stay. It's a hand and a voice command, and because it is a stationary exercise, it is a one word command. Your long sit stay, you're going to practice right in your living room. This is important living room getting her to do all of these things. When Brandy returns back to her, she quickly walks counterclockwise all the way around her, ending up back where they started at heel position. And just this control, I mean, she was going up our arms. She has made all of us bleed using her feet as a weapon. So none of this came easy. It may look easy on this video, but you're going to see. Now this time, instead of returning back to her, Brandy's going to call her. This is the come on command. And she's been taught to come and sit, not come and jump all over you. And everything with her has been about self-control and focus and maturity and listening when she's been given a command. And honestly, an occasional treat. And we are not a treat-based training program, but we use what works here. And because Abby's had a rocky start, Stay. we've switched up training equipment. We've used treats. We haven't used treats. We've done whatever works to get the best result for you for at home. The sit stays and the down stays help to build self-control and focus and maturity. And she's learned that training isn't a horrible thing, that we're not here to hurt you. We're here to love you. And you get positive attention for positive behavior. So these are all exercises that you're going to practice with her at home on a daily basis, especially when she's super amped up, like when she's been crated and you've been at work. This is going to give you a chance to do positive things with her. Now the next command that Brandy's going to demonstrate for you is the down from a heel position. So with her seated at your left, you take your open palm straight down toward the ground and the one word command to down and stay. 
you're down stay again you can practice right in your living area if you don't feel comfortable having her loose keep the leash on her but you have to start to incorporate her into your life it's okay brandy just you could have just returned Just heal her out. And she is a challenging dog. There's no doubt about it. But I think that she is learning that she gets more attention when she does the right thing than when she does the wrong thing. Very nice. Now we have lots and lots of information to go over with you tomorrow. She's come a long way. I know that you're still going to have questions. You may need some coaching at home. That's fine. We're here for you. We've put a lot of time into her and we want this to work for you at home. I'm going to wait till they turn back around to face the camera. And we want to thank you for choosing Nora's Dog Training Company, and we will see you tomorrow.